Well, welcome to the Dakin House. Uh, we have an interesting home here that was built around 1800. And in addition, we have an interesting piece of uh, history that was brought here from another area. It's a carriage step that belonged to Alexander Stewart. Uh, it was at his Victorian home in Westchester County. And when that Victorian home burned down, it was next to my old house, I salvaged that and brought it here to Hudson. So if you'd like to see it, we can go around the back. Certainly. First, let me get a view of your garden. Nice. He and John Wanamaker established uh, department stores. Yes, they did. <laughs> I'm Elsa Levisseur, and this part of the garden is about three years old, still in progress, and there's a more developed area over there which is about 12 years old. There are lots of fruit trees and strawberries, raspberries, blueberries, mm. and a lime which goes indoors in winter. and a wildflower meadow for the bees mm -hmm. and butterflies. Okay. Yes. I, 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 I saw a full-blown monarch yesterday and a few days before there was another one mm -hmm. feeding on the flowers. I hear there's some kind of crisis with the monarchs? Yes, there are not so many, but I've got lots of butterfly bushes here. so. I hope I'm breeding a lot. A, a mixture of wild garden, edible flowers and fruit. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, my name is Nancy Zuckerman, 
and I've been lucky to be renting actually this house for the last six years and this is my friend Brian who's helped me maintain the gardens beautifully and uh, it's been a it's a lovely yard it's lovely to be in and it I'm happy and to be on the tour mm -hmm. wonderful yeah. thank you Nancy yes. well thank you let me just take it okay and pan on the entire garden here. I've been gardening here for about 15 years. Oh, wow. And when I started, it was all, just all grass and some blue stones. Mm -hmm. And I gradually started making it into garden rooms. And I have a lot of also tropical plants that I bring in during the winter. Mm -hmm. And then, you can, then I have additions, like now I have milkweed, which I'm waiting for the monarchs they mm. prefer the Mexican sunflowers for some reason, but I, I that and then the sunflowers reseed. Um, and then I'm a photographer, so I, I've actually have some photographs on display because they're all taken, <laughs> all taken from my garden. Wonderful. So it's it's um, like mm. an all-season garden. Mm -hmm. I have Beautiful winter. We just uh, planted a butterfly bush, you know, the purple cone right. flower. And yesterday, I was delighted, I saw five tiny little baby monarchs flittering around. I couldn't believe it. I, I, I've never seen them before. I think they're just starting to come. I missed that. Could you say that? <laughs> stupid, stupid me. I have, uh, I've set up two hummingbird feeders this year, and we just missed one was trying to get in the picture. Mm -hmm. I have a male and a female that come. Mm. right now and so I'm hoping for more yeah, but they wonderful. zoom in and they they zoom out so fast and mm. they also like the Rose of Sharon and the Canis anything bright orange they love we have so. something visiting us that looks like a combination of a hummingbird and a moth yeah that's the hummingbird moth oh that's what it is yeah <laughs> yeah it's humming it's not a real hummingbird yeah. but it looks it it's swings like, flutter well, like and they have the most amazing tongue that you'll see that's that's in a unravels and unravels and um, they're wonderful. Yeah. 
I've yeah. seen two different kinds around here. Um, remind me, Peter, what was our vision? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what were we trying to achieve here? What kind, of a, what kind of space did we want to end up with? Just a little city garden where we could uh, sit out and eat dinner. So it's very simple. All these, we were very lucky we had all these great old bluestone pavers were already here, but they were in a path that went along that side. And we were able to pull them up and rearrange them into a patio. quite realized yet. It's four years old, so it's still coming. Is this, is this a high maintenance garden? Very low, yeah. It's all um, mostly shrubs and perennials, um, very occasionally an annual. And, uh, you know, deadheading the roses is about the most labor-intensive project because I have to get up on a ladder. Everything else is really simple. Good. Well, that's fine. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Say that again. I cleaned out the storeroom and I'm doing a little stoop sale here of uh, flower buckets and flower pots inspired by Mrs. Green Thumbs and half the proceeds are going to the Garden uh, the Parks Conservancy. Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah. Let me get the final pan here. I made the mistake of uh, creating a high maintenance garden. That's a mistake. It is a terrible mistake when I was a few years younger yeah. and didn't realize what nature demands. <laughs> yeah, I mean, even this one actually. There's a fair amount of. This is the first time I've seen this garden, and I oh, and it is just beautiful, 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 beautiful. That's about all I want to say. <laughs> That's fine. Thank you. Shouldn't. Doing some filming of uh, Young Paris the other night. Oh gosh, how was it? Well, he was. My name is Kitty Mackey, and I live on Warren Street. Know your wife? We know your wife. Oh, yeah. from where? 
from well, from let's showing see. things. They used to the gallery that was down on oh, sure. Cross yeah. Street, yeah. and then the, and then mm -hmm. Sound Shore or not Sound Shore, but the, yes, great. <laughs> um, right. Somehow it was like what? 10, 15 years ago. We I guess were, it from, was from yeah. that. Yeah. Uh huh. Words about your garden. I'm doing all the gardens. Oh, okay. really? Gardens well, Rachel's the principal gardener. Okay. I kind of help her a bit. <laughs> well, I'm in that relationship with my, my wife. I'm yeah, the right. grunt person. <laughs> <laughs> the laborer. Well, Not another hole to dig. Oh, no. <laughs> I kind of take care of lawns, well, lawnmowers. Uh -huh. Actually, I do all the digging. I've done all the yeah, digging. Um, well, it's evolved a lot over the years. We've planted everything here except for the lilacs. Mm. Um, we planted this tree. Oh, um, really? wow. And um, the garden started out very small and it was a sun garden. And it's mm -hmm. gradually evolved to a mostly shade garden. Um, because of the tree. Because of the tree, right? Yeah, it's amazing how nature does it. Yeah, yeah. And um, I plants come and go. If, if, if something doesn't thrive, mm -hmm. I take it out. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah. I, what else can I say about it? Okay, we have that kind of effect. Uh, we had the clematis used to be thriving in our garden. This year we can't make it even begin to to uh, bloom mm. or even there's so many factors huh, yeah and i think the the other thing i would say is that i don't i've planned everything i always plan on paper mm -hmm. i use um, um grid paper oh, and wow. a circle template to plan wow. everything impressed. meticulously i always talk about it. i never do <laughs> <laughs> and and what i plan for i don't plan for blooms i always plan for foliage oh, yeah, because smart. most things are only in bloom mm. for a short period of time. I mean some plants there are very few that are con almost constant bloomers like the the geraniums. Mm -hmm. uh, it's gerani geranium roseanne that's a, like a constant bloomer mm. and then around the corner I have a coreopsis uh, which is a lot of moonbeam that's a constant bloomer so but everything else just comes it's in bloom for a short period of time so mm -hmm. you really right. have to look at shapes and colors of foliage I think. Excellent. Wonderful. So, you know, tell one me thing. about the secret garden. It <laughs> oh, it's very small. It's small. It's, uh, there we go. Good. It's about three hours of intense afternoon sun. Oh wow! And that's it. And so it has to take broiling sun, and it has to take drought, mm -hmm. and. Um, but then it's got to take shade, so yeah. it's only part sun. Yeah. For our viewers, what are we looking at the plant here? This is um, Coreopsis verticillata moonbeam in the front, mm -hmm. and that will bloom pretty much yeah, June through October. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the that is a new grass that I just planted that this year. It's called Schizocurium standing ovation, mm -hmm. and uh, it will get taller. It's mm -hmm. just a very young mm -hmm. plant this year. <laughs> so I planted that section to attract butterflies and pollinators, bees. Um, I planted echinacea, um, lycus, uh, phlox, there's some sedum, I have some geraniums, um, and salvia. And um, they're, you know, they're, I planted it last year, so they're still, they'll, they'll fill in more. Mm -hmm. Next year, and, but um, but they're doing pretty well, and so. And are you getting visitors? <laughs> well, I have seen. I saw a monarch the other day. Yeah, and we've had lots of bees. So, yeah. Okay. Once again, thank you. Hi. Um, my name is Max Taylor Milner, and we're standing here in the garden of Jeff Bailey Gallery at 127 Warren Street. Uh, these sculptures behind me are by an artist named Alan Gladder. And we're happy to be part of the beautiful garden tour. And we're. And do you show uh, many sculptures in the garden? We do. Every summer, we usually have uh, two to three shows of outdoor sculpture. Mm-hmm. Wonderful. I just get a pan here.
Hi, I'm Sherry Williams, and this is the beautiful garden of Julie and Clark at uh, 234, 238 Warren. Um, it's a work in progress. They bought the building about five years ago, and this was a parking lot, a paved parking lot. The entire thing, everything you see now. Um, so, as you can see, they've made enormous headway with um, removing the asphalt and taking away the fence that was here and putting in this beautiful gravel area. Um, the plantings are native for the most part. A lot have been don donated. The uh, birch trees are uh, regional trees. This is an herb area here. Uh, the trees were the first to be put in after the asphalt was pulled up. That's where they started as they tried to figure out how they could possibly turn this into a garden. Um, and then uh, there are cantaloupe growing here that started in the compost and are now starting to bear fruit. Um, Julie works day and night trying to make this uh, habitat for um, native birds and uh, butterflies and mm -hmm. insects. So they've been working on this really intensely for about the last six months. This is the milkweed area here. This, these two areas are really where they started with the gardens, and uh, it was important to Julie to plant these. Um, they, did, they, didn't, they weren't so strong last year, but this year they're really out. Mm -hmm. And we see these little red bugs, which love the milkweed, and then we've seen a few monarchs. And um, mm -hmm. the sunflowers are just starting to bloom today. Job. They have. This is garlic. Um, there are a lot of herbs, um, uh, mm -hmm. tarragon and thyme. Um, and uh, I wish Julie was here to talk to you. She could be more. Um, You've done a very good job. <laughs> eloquent. I. I Yeah, I I can't tell you that much. The thing that people have have been asking. What's your name? Oh, so I'm Tina Leesum. I'm with the Garden Conservancy, and um, I'm taking care of Gwen Gould's garden today for her. <laughs> Wonderful. <coughs> Can you say anything about her garden? You know, the thing that people have been asking about the most is actually the hedge as you come in. Everybody's wanting to know what that is, um, and we've been told that it's buckthorn. I'm Linda Mice, I'm parishioner here at Holy Trinity Parish, and this is our wonderful meditation garden, started by Father Anthony Barrett, our pastor. And he's devoted a lot of hard work and time to this. Most evenings he's here tending to the flowers, and nothing was here last year. This has really? all come about in one year's time. Oh my goodness. So I think it's a beautiful tribute to God's love and grace. That's amazing. Now, whose idea was this? this Father Anthony Barrett, pastor of Holy Trinity Parish. One year? This is my one year. This is my oh, this is year. Oh, please go do it. Please do it. Enjoy yourself. Absolutely amazing. This is... he's, he's done fabulous. Now, you must have a few parishioners working the garden. Well, we do. We have a small garden club. However, it's mostly Father Anthony Barrett, but his loving care, tending these plants day in and day out, watering and checking them and taking just good care of them. That's yeah. what's done it. There was an old tree that had to be taken out and just some grass and crabgrass. That was it. And now all of this has replaced it. If we could invent some way to convert crabgrass into a plant, 
flowery. Wouldn't that be nice? Oh, that'd be that'd be a beautiful thing. What a thought. Yeah, I mean, with genetics, they should be able to do it. My name is Dale Schaefer, and uh, this is a uh, garden that uh, that myself and Philip Schwartz uh, and designed together, and we moved in three and a half years ago, and um, we just use it as it's kind of the garden is broken up into like sort of three rooms, um, as long as well as the porch. So that's I suppose that's four, and it's about just having a different experience and. In each of the um, outdoor rooms. Mm -hmm. And uh, what was here before you got started? Before we got started was the fence and that uh, maple tree over there. But mm -hmm. everything else is is new. Yeah, okay. Let me. I'll just walk around. It's beautiful. Here's another I'm Maria Manhattan and we're here at 450 East Allen Street uh, on the garden tour. And it's been a lovely day. Uh, we've had changeable weather, but it's really been wonderful. Lots of people coming by. Uh, people are very surprised at what's behind these gates. It's, it's really been uh, quite wonderful. Thank you. And uh, can you say a few words about the garden? When did you start? And well, the... we've been here about 10 years, mm -hmm. and some of the, uh, some of the structure is from the original garden, but we've really ripped things out and put things in. Uh, right now, the lilies are having a good time. They're all blooming mm -hmm. beautifully. Uh, and the uh, well, like Susie's are coming in, and my dahlias are going to come in. In about a month, we'll have mm -hmm. these the big dinner plate dahlias that mm -hmm. are really oh, fabulous, so yeah. you should come back. But these are the white Blanca lilies. They're getting ready. These are just finishing, these yellow lilies. And these balloon flowers are gorgeous, mm -hmm. these uh, kind of purple balloon flowers. Okay. Hi, my name is Rosemary Younger, and this is my garden. And when did you start this garden? I started this garden about 10 years ago. Okay. <laughs> and what, it's, what was here when you arrived? Um, the birch tree in the back, the pussy willow in the front, and a lot of poison ivy in between. <laughs> so it's been a long yeah. road, but I think uh, yeah, it's my favorite part of the house. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Oh no, those are, they're brandy wine, but I, I put them at the farmer's market, oh. but I haven't had them before. They're, they were sold to me as brandy wines that are like a cherry tomato, but a very large cherry. Wow. Yeah, so I haven't had that. any yet. Okay. I'm going to teach them everything else before the garden trip, but this really needs my love. It's a little like, yeah. Yeah. from the beans in the house because Ooh. it was cheaper to build something right, than right, to build right. and then I just put the wood at like low. Yeah, I just like, I was just thinking inside that I could count it. Oh yeah. And your name again? Laura Langley. And you're what? I'm assisting my friend Andrea uh -huh. Karras. Right. Yeah. This is really just, you know, a video for friends, nothing, ah. nothing frightening. <laughs> now what is, so you've got this coleus going yeah. and then what 
What is this underneath? Is that it's a geranium? geranium? Yeah. Wow, I've never seen leaf like uh, that. I got it at Home Plus. I don't know the name of it. Home Plus Farm. They have it in the springtime. Uh, you could probably find it there. Mm -hmm. um, there is a plant finder app that someone told me oh, about yeah. where you can take a picture of a plant yeah. and then it will identify it. It's some lady's name. The, the geranium? Uh, plant snap. It's not very good. <laughs> it's not, yeah. No. 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 Okay, well, it's probably better than I am, so. <laughs> uh, and it remembers probably better than you do. Um, I do. Uh, uh, no. You know what? Uh, it's like yeah. yeah, we're not allowed to bring plants into California. Oh, right, right, right. Okay. <laughs> uh, so you're from well, well, we're from here, but we live there now. <laughs> May I just get your name? Oh, and, uh, can we get away? Uh, yeah, we'd like to get, yeah, yeah, we'll get out. Get out. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank, thank you really so much. Thank you. Have fun. Uh, my name is Andrea Karras, and I've had this garden about six years, and I have lots of fun. Uh, and what was here before you arrived? Uh, this tree, this large spruce. Mm -hmm. Right here, you know. Ever present um, red cedar that was there, and uh, then I had uh, someone do the landscaping, and then I just started planting mm -hmm. quite a bit. Thank you. Beautiful. You like lilies? Ah, yeah, I love lilies, roses, asters, which I'm waiting for, and uh, you know everything else. I'm like double fisting it, yeah, I've got the cake. <coughs> well, thank you so much. Thank you. Um, I'm gonna go. Oh, okay. Uh, thank you. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to interrupt. Sorry. No, no. She brought me maps. Yes, maps. Yeah. Do you need a map? No, I have maps. Thank you. Okay. All right. Thank you, Ellen. Good You're amazing. You. <laughs> I don't know about that. But... Okay, I'm Catherine Umstead, and this is 441 Union Street. And when did you start gardening here? I bought my house exactly 10 years ago, and um, I, st I designed it then, and then it took a few years to get the plants in. I'm still working on that, actually. And, and um, it evolves a little bit every year. It, it, it's a work in progress. Beautiful. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. see these and you pull right. it out where you don't want them right. but it, it gets very big wow, and I think those flowers are so pretty they're so lovely yeah but in one plant it wouldn't in, in a thousand years.
how big it should be. And is this a lantern? I um, have been here since 2011, but the garden is really only probably about three years old in this current state. But I'm uh, really excited that it's finally, everything's getting big enough to uh, share. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's been a long, hot day, but I'm enjoying, we're getting much more traffic on this side of town than I thought we'd get. Mm -hmm. And... Um, and your name, I don't have your name. Mara Estrabu. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what was here before you um, Lawn, lots of old lawn. Mm -hmm. And a few old rose bushes. Mm -hmm. And a catalpa tree that was right next to the house that I had to take down because it was great. And I've been working on the house for years and the heavy equipment kind of killed a lot of everything that was here. So I had to start over. And there's heavy clay in Hudson, so yes, yes. I've been battling the clay, but yeah. I'm winning the battle this year. <laughs> we uh, expanded our dining room and the construction equipment just demolished a beautiful garden we had. Yeah, I took the siding off the house and the windows and everything, so, uh, mm -hmm. um, but, you know, time to restore it. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, it's not restoring it because it was never, um, more than simple grass, but I'm enjoying uh, making it into something new. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you very much. Sure. So this will go. That's Dan Udell. Where's Barry? At the uh, other place at Hudson Bush Farm, we used to go and had a show for this conservancy. This, my name is Norman Posner, and I live in a house that is difficult for me to function in because I have had a stroke. But with my spouse, Graham, and the help of a number of garden people, we decided to make the nicest garden we could here in this house in the northern part of, uh, of uh, what's the place, Gray? We're talking about north of Warren. North of Warren, That's which we have decided to call N-O-W, the new oh. part of Hudson. And so we got this lovely little garden, mm, which is hidden like many of the gardens the in garden. Hudson, the secret garden. Yes. And we we're off the record, off the parade, which is mostly around uh, the city proper. But we had about uh, 50 people, and uh, they loved it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it was fun to be able to show a garden to some people who lived in the area or came from some further place to take a chance and see what they could see around the Hudson mm -hmm. Valley. May I show him the newest member of the family? Oh, yes. We have a new member to our family, which you might get a kick out of. Mm -hmm. Also, but the main one's still in New York. So here we go. <laughs> Staying power. It's called Steinway. <laughs> and it's Amazing. top of the line. Amazing.
Hello. <laughs> hey, go ahead. Sorry. If you could just say your name and just a few words about what's going on here. Oh, uh, well, uh, my name's Alan, Alan Hamilton. Lisa Durfee is my partner. She owns this house and uh, she lets me stay here. <laughs> so mm -hmm. we got a, a, yeah, and uh, we've been working on this garden over the years, probably since we bought the house. When was that? Oh, she bought the house, actually. Uh, uh, 2001, I think. Uh -huh. Yeah. So. Um, and what was here before? Well, I'll show you. There's a there's a picture here that we saved that is basically what was here before. It's a, kind of that. Let me zoom in on that. Oh yes, that's a bit of a challenge, isn't it? Yeah. Well, wow. yeah. There, it's it's like a a blank slate right there. Yeah. With a few cracks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Definitely a secret garden. Hmm. Nice walkway. It's very manageable. I mean, yes. Yeah. Not a lot of, lot of dirt to work with, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, that's it. I have one more. Not the 21st. So, uh, right on Warren Street. <laughs> Yes. And it was hard to find. That's the reason why they put balloons here. They were going to put them in the back also. But... Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, we found it anyway. Good. So, lead the way, please. Not many of these buildings have the space for a garden. Years ago, when Mrs. Greenthumb was here, they used to call these old tours the Hidden Gardens of Hudson. Was she here in this building? Yeah. Oh, I see. So this has a lot of historic significance. See, this is what a lot of people see. Uh huh. Now, what did uh, Mrs. Green Thomas do here? Uh, she basically lived here. Did she? Uh, was uh, involved in the morning show on television. Mm -hmm. Talks about plants and everything. Mm -hmm. Going, going through. Oh. Wow. What a surprise. Mm -hmm. Well, this is a fitting and it's the last garden for me to visit. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. You go up there. the of the too. And uh, did she do any of her shows from this room? No. no. She just blew up her department the morning and said, mm -hmm. and where she did it. Mm -hmm. so, uh, what?
Lou Glass and Don Friday.